this video is to show how to replace a speed sensor in a 1993 Toyota Camry uh, with a four-cylinder engine. Um, this is an automatic, um, and I believe this is the 5F SE engine. Um, so what you'll have to do, and um, I'll try to explain this step by step, but first you'll want to take out the um, air intake filter cover that's here, and then also the hose that connects it up here. Um, so there's a clamp here that's just a, a Phillips head and then there's also one on the uh, cover here that you'll have to unscrew so that you can take this off. Um, also there is um, this line usually slides into this hook right here so that that line stays in place so you can just pop it out. Um, and then lastly, come around on this side. Um, there is a bolt right here, I believe it's 10 millimeter, that you'll need to take out so that um, so that you can pull off the hose and this piece together. Um, and it's usually easier to take out the cover first and then pull out uh, the hose with this plastic part here second. And this kind of opens it up so that we can uh, replace the sensor. Okay, you want to take out the air filter cover first. So make sure you undo these four clamps here. Um, again, you want to make sure this is unscrewed here and back here. Um, and then also the bolt is removed. And then there's also a sensor that plugs into the air, fil air filter. So make sure you unplug that. So uh, next, this should just come out. So I'll disconnect the hose. the uh, filter out first. Alright, so once the cover's off, um, I like to take the filter out and use it as sort of like a sort of a keepsake to hold the bolts and the sockets that I'll use. Um, so again, you'll loosen this screw that's here. For that clamp and then this just pulls off uh, then you'll just have to kind of fish this out and then the whole thing just comes out all right at this point um, what we need to get to is down here you'll see that gray connector i've already tried taking it taking the speed sensor out twice by now so that's why it's pretty clean uh, I do have an oil leak on my backside, so you can see the dirt that's there. Um, the connector itself, um, I gotta just push it on this tab, and then pull up on the connector, so it'll come off. Um, and at this point, it's just a, a double check. I want to say it's a 10 millimeter, but I have to use like a small socket. Um, and so you'll just loosen it up and um, I'll show you how to take it out next. All right, so a uh, 10 millimeter socket, I've had to get a reducer so that the shaft isn't so big. And then come down here. I will say if it's pretty dirty down here to uh, be careful when you remove the bolt and the sensor itself because the hole when I did it the first time I got a lot of gunk down on the hole and I had to clean it out. So it's again you I don't know if you can see but there's some gunk in there where it's done it more than once. Alright. The next part, the sensor, um, even though your new one may probably have a tab on it, so I'll show that here in another clip, but um, all you have to do is pull straight up on it. Now the first time I did mine, it was really tough to get out, um, but these sensors pretty much on this car lift straight up, and then uh, there's a shaft, and then it's also got an attachment to it, so you will have to sort of push, there's some... Uh, cabling that's under here you'll have to push out of the way to get the whole assembly to 
come up and with two hands this would be easier. So you're going to pull it out and then you want the gear shaft to come out with it too. Alright, so that's what it uh, what it looks like. Um, so I'll show you in the next clip here how to uh, take this and set it up for your for a new one that you're about to install. Okay, this is what you see here is three sensors. Uh, the top one is the original that came out of my Camry. Uh, this middle one is one bought from AutoZone. Um, it was a hundred and Thirty-five dollars. Uh, they're normally like one sixty. It's by Duralast, um, and I just got it today. And then the bottom one is uh, another speed sensor that I got off of eBay for twenty dollars. Um, the original one um, has sort of this locking pin that wraps around the shaft, um, and then it's also which holds this sort of. Uh, shaft that comes up into here that has the gear on it which touches gears in your transmission um, there's when I originally I got this one first um, for 20 bucks and originally it would not fit in the hole uh, like the original one did and so I thought well maybe it's because of this tab so I had a guy grind off uh, the tab still wouldn't fit turns out it's uh, the shaft part um, interesting enough these two shafts do the same thing. They won't fit in the hole um, like the original one does. So I had some, uh, I think it's three or 400 grit sandpaper, 320 grit, um, and sanded on my cheap $20 one. Um, and after sanding on it for about five minutes, uh, sort of around in circles, uh, it is uh, enough that it does fit down in the hole. So what I'm gonna do is uh, carefully pop um, this locking sort of pin, this locking ring. So you sort of just pull it up from the edge and then it'll come out. Uh, that lets you slide this whole shaft out. You'll line it up with the uh, tab that's down in that hole, of uh, the slot, and then once it's in there, uh, you might have to twist the gear a little bit to get the locking pin to sit uh, fully onto the shaft of the sensor. Um, and that way it's just pretty much the reversal. should be able just to put it back in the transmission and then we'll give it a test run and see how it goes. Okay, I just got back from uh, driving the Camry. Um, what I ended up doing on the on the $20 sensor that I had, of course I told you I'd, I'd ground off this sensor, I grounded it off. Um, but to make it fit, this is the $140 one uh, AutoZone. Um, this part was still too wide. Um, the diameter was too big. So what I ended up doing was taking the sandpaper, um, which was about 320 grit, I think. Um, looks like this. Um, and basically file or sanded on the shaft part of this. Um, probably a good five minutes until I could put some transmission fluid on it and then it would slide down in the hole. Um, so I took it out for a test drive. It seemed to work. Um, so I don't know if this is a common problem. Um, I know other people had left reviews on uh, on the, on the eBay seller that I bought it from and said it didn't fit, but um, even the ones that are um, over a hundred bucks more, they still, uh, they wouldn't fit either. So I guess you'd have to go to Toyota, get a direct fit replacement uh, for this, but hey, for 20 bucks, um, I'll put it in there and see how long it rides. And I know next time uh, what I need to do. And so hopefully this helps anybody else who's trying to install this in a, in a camera or any other Toyota and sort of a, a tight spot and the, the sensors looked identical but I guess they're just machined a little different because they fit so many different cars but um, hope this helps leave any comments uh, if you've got any questions uh, or comments about it thanks